Imagine a future where Burkina Faso is no longer dependent on foreign expertise to build its roads, power plants, and skyscrapers. Picture a nation led by its own engineers, crafting its destiny with homegrown talent. Sounds impossible. Well, President Ibrahim Traore is on a mission to make it real. His bold vision is flipping the script on Burkina Faso's engineering sector. And if you think this is just another political speech, think again. From massive infrastructure projects to creating high-paying jobs, Trora's strategy could reshape the country in ways we never imagined. Ready to find out how? Let's dive in. Shifting gears in engineering and development. First off, President Traore believes that engineering holds the key to Burkina Faso's future. In a recent speech, he emphasized the importance of moving away from relying on foreign experts and instead building up a homegrown workforce capable of handling major projects. Imagine Burkina Faso being able to manage and complete its own infrastructure developments without needing outside help. That's Chora's dream, and he's making moves to turn it into a reality. He made it clear that his focus is on developing a strong engineering workforce, one that's not only skilled, but can also compete on an international level. He wants to put local engineers in charge of projects that up until now have depended on foreign expertise. This could be a game changer for the country, especially when it comes to creating jobs and keeping talent within Burkina Faso. Making engineering cool for young people. Traore knows that for his vision to work, engineering needs to be appealing to young people. Let's face it, engineering isn't always seen as the coolest or most attractive career path, but he's working to change that. While he respects other academic fields like literature, law, and philosophy, he argues that engineering offers the most direct and visible impact on national development. One of the biggest ways Traore plans to attract young talent is by making sure that engineers in Burkina Faso are paid competitively. He's talking about salaries that are on par with what engineers make abroad. The idea is simple. If people know they can make a good living as engineers without having to leave the country, they'll stay and contribute to Burkina Faso's growth. Creating jobs for engineers. But it's not just about salaries. Traore is also focused on creating real job opportunities for local engineers. His plan supports both small and large industries to ensure engineers have meaningful and well-paid positions. He wants to reduce the country's dependence on imported engineering services by fostering a strong industrial sector right at home. This will allow engineers to contribute to projects that directly benefit their own communities and country. A major part of this push includes making sure engineers in Burkina Faso are recognized and rewarded for their hard work. Traore has promised that local engineers will earn salaries comparable to their international peers if they deliver high-quality work. This not only raises the standard for engineering, but also shows local talent that their skills are just as valuable as anyone else around the globe. Powering up with homegrown talent. One of the most exciting projects Traore has in mind is the development of a thermal power plant. Here's the kicker, it will be designed, owned, and operated entirely by Burkinev engineers. This is a huge deal because it demonstrates that local talent can handle complex infrastructure projects and take charge of the country's energy needs. By investing in projects like this, Trora is working toward energy independence, all while empowering the country's engineers. Supporting small businesses and entrepreneurs. Trora isn't just thinking big, he's also focused on smaller, local businesses. He knows that small enterprises play a huge role in job creation and economic growth. However, starting and running a business in Burkina Faso isn't always easy, especially when it comes to accessing financing. To help out, Traore is reorganizing state funds to make it easier for entrepreneurs to get the money they need to launch and sustain their ventures. On top of that, he's calling on banks to step up and work with the government to provide more accessible credit options for small businesses. This isn't just about giving people money. It's about creating a supportive environment where young entrepreneurs can thrive and make a real impact on the economy. Revamping education for the future. Another big piece of Trora's plan involves transforming Burkina Faso's education system. He's all about focusing on vocational and technical training, which makes total sense given his engineering-driven vision. He announced that the government is creating a brand new ministry for secondary and vocational training. The goal? To professionalize education at an earlier stage, giving students the skills they need to enter engineering and technical fields straight out of high school. In addition to that, Trora is pushing to upgrade the Polytechnic School of Ouagadougou into a full-fledged Polytechnic University. 
This will mean more advanced courses, more training opportunities, and a whole new generation of engineers ready to tackle the country's development challenges. By prioritizing this kind of education, Trore is making sure that Burkina Faso has the workforce it needs to compete on a global stage. Building up local industries. One of the key parts of Trore's vision is reducing Burkina Faso's reliance on imported goods. His plan is to ramp up local manufacturing so that the country can produce more of its own essential products. This doesn't just help the economy, it also keeps money within the country instead of flowing out to foreign companies. To make this happen, Trore's administration is offering a bunch of incentives, including tax breaks, to encourage the growth of local industries. The idea is to create more jobs, especially for engineers and other professionals, while boosting domestic production. If Burkina Faso can manufacture more of its own goods, it'll be much more self-sufficient and less vulnerable to global market shifts. Cleaning up and organizing urban spaces. Trore isn't just focused on industries and infrastructure. He's also paying attention to urban development, particularly the state of the country's markets. He's made it clear that a lot of informal market setups need to be cleared out and proper structures need to be built. The goal is to create cleaner, safer, and better organized urban spaces where businesses can thrive. But here's the cool part. Troy isn't just relying on government action to make this happen. He's calling on the public to get involved and take responsibility for maintaining these spaces. By getting communities involved in urban development, he's ensuring that the improvements will be long-lasting and that people will feel a sense of ownership over their cities. What does this mean for Burkina Faso? In a nutshell, President Ibrahim Traoré is laying down a comprehensive plan to take Burkina Faso to the next level. His focus on engineering, education, and local manufacturing is all about building a more self-reliant nation. By investing in local talent and industries, Trore is ensuring that the country can handle its own development projects without having to depend on foreign experts. One of the most exciting aspects of this vision is the emphasis on young people. Trore understands that for Burkina Faso to succeed, the next generation needs to be equipped with the skills and opportunities to lead the way. That's why he's making engineering a more attractive field and revamping the education system to produce top-notch professionals. His commitment to competitive salaries, job creation, and local manufacturing shows that he's serious about keeping talent within the country and empowering Burkinetta professionals to lead the charge. At the same time, his support for small businesses and urban development ensures that everyone has a role to play in this transformation, from engineers to entrepreneurs to everyday citizens. As Burkina Faso moves forward, Trore's plan is setting the stage for long-term growth and sustainability. His vision isn't just about quick fixes, it's about building a foundation for the future. By prioritizing engineering education and local industry, he's positioning Burkina Faso to become a leader in manufacturing and infrastructure development in Africa. If Trore's initiatives succeed, Burkina Faso could see a future where it's no longer dependent on foreign expertise or imported goods. Instead, it will be a nation driven by homegrown talent, innovation, and a thriving industrial sector. And that's something that could inspire other countries in the region to follow suit. President Trora's vision is bold, but it's exactly what Burkina Faso needs to move forward. By focusing on engineering, education, and local manufacturing, he's tackling the country's biggest challenges head on. The future looks bright for Burkina Faso, and it's all thanks to a leadership approach that prioritizes self-sufficiency, innovation, and the empowerment of local talent. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more updates on how Africa's leaders are shaping the future.